Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and this is Sunny from Wuhan, China. In this video, I will show you how it's like an educational center in China, normal city. So what's the educational center? We have a primary school like this one, a huge one in Wuhan. But now it's closed because the winter vacation. So a lot of parents, they want to send their kids to some private school to learn. No matter what, maybe it's Chinese, maybe it's mathematics, maybe it's English or dance, painting, music, art, all these kind of things. They want to spend money and they need to spend this money to make their kids have a better education. And here is the list how they do their class and how is the result. And today I will show you inside of a very huge educational center in Wuhan. It's opened by one of my friends and they have five educational center like this in Wuhan city. And they plan to open five more this year. So now we are inside, we will go inside the classroom. And in this classroom, the teacher who is teaching Chinese writing. How to write a Chinese Chinese radical in Chinese, of course. You can see those kids, they're not very old. They're around eight to 10 years old. And they study this almost every day when they don't have class at school. And this kind of classroom, we have mainly in this level. And in this classroom, it's an English class. Yes, they already start to pronounce English as it is. I remember when I started to learn English, real serious English is around 13 years old. But for them, it starts at 6 years old. We're in, entering the elevator and we will go to see another level. In this level, we will have some more artistic class about dancing or Chinese traditional instrument. Like this one. This thing we call it Gu Zheng. It's like guitar, Chinese guitar, but you have to sit down. This one is closed. We'll go to another one. Wow, this one is called Pipa. Forgive me for my shooting technique. I only have a selfie stick for me, but I want to show you the real thing. So Pipa, this is at the time off. Well, now we arrive at the dancing class. Those kids, they are much younger. They are around four, five, six years old. We call it a mini class. And all the parents, they wait outside. Inside the classroom, they have two huge air conditioners, so they can keep it warm. But outside, when I'm shooting this video, it's kind of chilly. You see, they have a very good um, security system. They have the card. Only the people allowed can be entered. So they want to keep their students safe. This classroom, they teach painting. Chinese painting with soft pen. Or just for the younger kids for fun. This room is decorated by their professors. You see those kids, they are interested in what I'm doing. And this is for older kids. They are playing 
with their pen, they are drawing the bok choy. And now we arrive at another place, which is the piano class for the younger kids. You see, we have four kids, and the teacher try to teach them, and try to teach them how to recognize the sound. And do, la, mi, fa, so. So the teacher will play a kind of a music, very short music, and will ask their student to find certain of this sound. Seems this little girl don't want to participate, we're a new one. So the teacher put her aside to let her observe what the other kids are doing. It's all about Western style music. We have a public class, we have a private class. In this room, you will find one teacher to one student. Of course, it's more expensive, but the teacher will really focus on how to teach one student. And this little girl was very kind to play one piano music for me for the video. After he she playing this, I talked to her professor, and her professor said normally the kids like her will drop this kind of music training after they end the high school, which is around 16 years old, because at that time they have much more work to do. They don't have time for this anymore. So the dance class is over. All the parents will come and address their kids because it's really cold outside and they're afraid the kids get cold and not only the parents the grandparents as well they are in charge of it most of the time the students like this they have uh, normally they're from a very wealthy family or the family really willing to pay for their education in this room that's the final performance room at the end of Every session, they will come here and play, have a huge party to show what they have learned in this school to their friends and families. As well, they have a daycare. It's for younger kids. It's very useful. So let's check the price. Normally, the price for one session, which is 25 hours or 30 hours, it costs from 300 US dollars to 600 US dollars. But the Wuhan people, averagely, they have 600 dollars as a monthly salary. So it's a huge money for some people. But this, they will open five more centers like this. And the market is much more than this. And that's the situation in China. People are really, really focused on their kids' education because they want their kids to have better life. And I asked the, the lady who showed me around in the school, why you are so confident to open five, five more schools like this? And she said, now the government offer two children policy instead of unique child policy so more baby they are on the way they are coming so we have to prepare for that this industry will be always there because Chinese people they like education and they believe in it so what do you think about this video do you like and believe the philosophy of Chinese education so let me know and put your comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.